Oh, we're smoking now. We're coming in hot. Nearly there. Contact. Hey. What's up guys, Frisbee here. Okay, so today is Space Elevator Day and I've come up with what I think is quite an original design. Basically what it is, is a set of thrusters, two sets of thrusters on one side of the cube and two sets of wheels on the other and you stick it in the corner and it sticks itself in there. The thrusters hold it in place and the wheels give it a smooth ride. Now I've built it above the fence here because on an earlier model the fence was really difficult to negotiate so this is what we do is we Get it into position, get all your thrusters and bits um, wired up, etc, etc. That's my little blue square, that's my launch pad. And then just drop it down. Like that. Okay, and we are off. Okay, so if you need to get into the corner, you just put the, the side thrusters on it in a couple of dabs on the bottom thrusters. It squares it all up and then put the bottom thrusters back on and away you go. And it sticks beautifully into the corner. Look at that. You can actually see that it's actually bang straight on. So it's quite a good system. Let us stick with it or not, I don't know, but it was pretty novel. I had to sort of investigate it fully. The first time I put it up, I lost it. Um, and what I mean is I fell out. I tried to get out of the chair and I fell out of the carriage and I had to launch a rescue mission. So up there in the distance, you can see a walkway because my, my rescue capsule this time landed on the sky miles away from where I needed it to be. So what I did was I gingerly made a walkway up there and made my way to the to the elevator. So that was that. So we're going up here just now and we're going to make a few adjustments to that old structure there that I put up and we're going to try and make the beginnings of what will be a corner space station. I've decided that's the place to be, it's in the corner here. Because you've got the ceiling and you've got two walls to build off, so it just makes sense. It does take a few while to go up there. Okay, so we've arrived and we are, you can see the distance it was. That's what I had to do. Now, I've got a new system of getting from platforms to machine, back to platform again, which is simply just clicking on the chairs. You probably know that one. Um, so I need to build a platform that's a lot closer and it's got a chair on it. But, uh, until that time, we will just quickly extend these orange panels out. We'll stop messing about here. The thing is definitely on. Here goes for the landing. Looks like it landed on Mars at one point, isn't it? That's a nice image, tearing down those walls. Shrishing down all the way. Yes, and a little bit of boost. Shh, those, um, this, yeah, the last thing is these wheels are really active on what must be a smooth virtual surface that is the walls. It just makes me think that no matter what you do, you're never going to get the bumps taken with the wheels because the bumps are built into the wheels. They're not reacting to anything. They are just bumpy. And fast forward a bit. Okay, here we have changed things quite a lot. Um, we've taken off the sports um, suspension and we've put drive into the wheels and we've tarted it up, put a radio and a plant in it, of course, and it's all very tasteful. Um, the idea was to try and make it ride up more smoothly by elongating the body, and also I can now stop it anywhere because it's electric motors, so we can put more floors in, so it's proper elevator this time, yeah? Uh, so I reckon I will stick with this one for a while, because I put a bit of work into it. I actually put thrusters inside those wooden boxes, but for some reason they didn't hold up against it. I don't know what was going on there. However, that's that. Right, let's go up and have a wee look. I've not done much up here, but there is one interesting thing that's underway. Um, and here we're getting a little bit closer now. It wasn't any quicker, I don't think, than the other one either. Um, well, it's not got boosters, it's just going up on wheels, you know. Maybe it needs a little bit of both. And I'm thinking maybe I need to take off the uh, suspension altogether because it, it just seems to throw it about even more. Whereas the one I drove up the wall the other day had no suspension on it and it was a lot smoother. But I had bigger wheels. Alrighty, here we are. Um, so we're back, we're using our teleport system now to get in and out. It's the simplest way, it's the safest way. As long as I remember, a couple of times I just jumped out, <laughs> jumped across. There's quite a big gap too. Um, there you go, click on that. So you can double hit E and you're straight out again. Um, well, just like on the, on the shuttle and on the space station, they've got like the Canada arms. I thought we have to have one of them. 
So I've attached its base to the ceiling here. This is just an experimental one. I want one that, that stays level. It's got auto leveling in it and um, that you can remote control it and you can just you can get a real good range of movement out of. So this is the experiment stage. I just thought I would film this so you can have a wee look. Um, it's good fun. I like doing stuff like this. Yeah, it's like out there, different. That was it, just the basic in out and back again on 180 spin. Oh, oh no, this was I put in the 45 step as well, double 45. I was just finding out which way it was turning. All I had to do was look at the discs, but I was too lazy. So we'll jump into this in a wee minute. It's um, a cool idea though, wasn't it? Having a, a, a robotic arm hanging down from the ceiling to help you with stuff. Especially with the building, you know, because if you're building far away from your lift or whatever, and you accidentally erase something, uh, deletes it, and everything falls down. You're miles away from your your lift, and you're standing on it, and you're going down with it. Whereas if you're in a if you're in the arm, then uh, at least you can rebuild onto the walls or whatever. And by the way, here's something as well. It's not in this video, but I can delete parts of that cage that is on the arm. And the reason I can do that, I think, is because there are bearings in between. Uh, any joints, any joints you've got. So if you put in a joint, you can delete what's on end, on the end of the joint. You just can't delete stuff that's directly attached to the wall by other blocks. If that makes sense, I don't know. I'm sure you'll figure it out. So yeah, I, I couldn't get over to the switch. <laughs> just bring it back. This time we just got a little bit further away. So I had to build. Again, there you go. I was just about to delete one of those one of those squares and I would have gone plummeting down. So you need to be careful up here, you really do. Space is dangerous, people. I keep calling it space, I'm going to keep calling it space anyway because uh, what else can you call it? This guy. Right, this is my first venture at Marm. And uh, yeah, let's looking good. Works a treat. Let's see, it's just a test one. Next time we see that, hopefully we'll have a lot of functionality and I'll actually be able to use it for proper construction, like for building the train and stuff like that, which we're going to hang from the ceiling all the way along because I've got so many ideas for that now. Yeah, that's funny. You, like, so you can put up one of those shelf supports and then you can't add another one to it, yeah? And Or you can put an orange panel up and then add ones to that, okay, and it's narrower. So I don't really understand completely what goes on. There's a strange physics involved. I was putting some of those blue blocks on the wall and they were setting off at two or three blocks away distant from the wall. So they weren't exactly sticking to it. Couldn't understand that at all. Anyway, we're just messing about here. Um, we're going to shoot back down in a minute. There was one little problem um, with, the, with the lift, which you'll see in a second is that if you ignore it for too long, it starts to creep down the wall again of its own accord. And um, so I need to put some kind of catch in on it so that when, I mean, you can leave it at that so that you can just jump off if it ever goes too far. Look, there it is. You see it's halfway down from where it was before. So I need to go and catch it before it gets any lower. That's super cool. I like that arm. It's my Canada arm. We'll call it a Scotland arm rather than a Canada arm. There you go. Plenty of potential there for fun, I think, eh? What do you think of my new lift as well? Very tasteful, wasn't it? Yeah. Could spend all day on that, especially with the radio, elevator music. Got to have elevator music. So we'll just have a quick demo of this on the way down. Um, again, I can think of lots of improvements and I can think of one big, big improvement, but I'm going to keep that for the next video because it's, um, it's pretty amazing. Uh, Good, just like that. He does, he's getting thrown about even more than what he did in the short stumpy one with the, with the thrusters on the bottom. It's hard to know what a machine is going to do, you know. Uh, they, they seem to be very different to each other. This one is getting chucked about all over the place. You know. I like the look of it, but it's quite, uh, it's quite tasteful. It's good. Okay, we'll just bring this into land and then we'll call that a day there. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Um, but give me some comments. Let me know what you thought of this, because this was quite interesting. Little project. Any more ideas, anything you got, just throw it at me. Catch you later. Bye.